I am amazed that we have to say that this is a bold step hmm. because Arunachal Pradesh was, is, and will remain an integral part of the country. As far as this situation which has arisen today is concerned, we stand with our government. Hmm. But does our uh, government really stand uh, with this issue, with the issue of Arunachal Pradesh, or is it going to set a narrative? That yes, we have taken a bold step with this vibrant villages, uh, uh, you know, program. Hmm. That is not what is required. What is required is a tough stand and uh, uh, you know, bold words hmm. to tell the uh, Chinese that you please stay out of it. How is it that it is in April 2017, then December 2021, and April 2023 hmm. that they came up with this list of changing names? Hmm. Of course, our government will not understand it because they think that changing names within the country of roads and of cities is helping them. Now, when Chinese are renaming our uh, cities and uh, uh, you know various locations like mountains, rivers, what is our government doing? Just going and saying that we're taking a bold step? No, we have always had Arunachal Pradesh as part of our country and now it is time to show the la la that the Prime Minister has been talking about. Mm. It is it is the Chinese which is transgressing its uh, you know our territories again and again. Mm. If you remember uh, the, uh, what happened in 2020 where yeah. 20 of our brave hearts uh, you know had to give up their lives to save our territory but our Prime Minister said na koi gusa hai na koi gusa hua hai then after that, uh, these uh, hundred soldiers of Chinese uh, came into another area of Uttarakhand. Forget what happened in Galwan, because the government doesn't seem to understand that Arunachal Pradesh is a place where their own MP has been raising this issue. Where Aruna, uh, where they have, uh, you so know, Jatashi, they have picked the up criticism one boy that has come in from the Congress where, Party where over the kind of policy the present government has pursued vis-a-vis China.